Hello anybody, I'm Alex and this is Games That Let You Build Things and this is Transport Fever 2. We're back on Set Isle for a third time. Here we are. Now at the end of the last episode I said and that is mission complete for today. And of course it wasn't. I missed a vital point of the mission and that was Stanhope. We were going to deliver fuel to Stanhope. Let's turn on that layer as well. Stanhope over here. They want fuel. Fuel is over here at Settle. We're supplying Settle with fuel as well as the spanners that they want. And that, that's the spanners are coming from Stanhope. So it's only fair that Settle returns some fuel. But for that, we need a train and a line. We could borrow the train that's being used to bring the oil in to settle initially maybe on the way back it could go to Stanhope and drop off some fuel but then it needs to get back to the port which would mean maybe turning around at Hornby station or building a loop but I, I don't know I don't really want to do that I think we'll just get another train but for that we need another line but before we do that Stanhope, your station is fine for now, but not for soon, because I want to extend the line up to the Stanhope food processor. And to do that, I need to get rid of this terminal configuration for the station. So we need to add on some new platforms. Oh, and it looks like they've changed style now that we're in the new millennium I guess and that's fine so we've got two goods lines going through which is what we want we need a goods platform over here so that we can plop a cargo building down let's give it a decent cargo building rather than just a bay actually no I don't want those platforms there do I I want another line I want another line first bump 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 then the platform, then a passenger building, let's choose that one, a swanky new one, why not. And then we need to delete those so we can make a through station, I'm sure there's a mod that allows for a through and a terminus without, so you can have a building on the end and lines going alongside it, that'd be good. I'll have a look. Now we need some roads, don't we? We need some roads connecting those up so people can actually get to them. Actually, let's preempt this and just plop down a bus station here. That's probably the best idea. Get through to the station. We've got no buses here yet, but I'm sure it's on the cards two buildings will be removed, sorry. And probably do the same here. Can we squeeze that in? Can we squeeze it in on its side? Sort of. So we will take out both of those buildings and leave no room for expansion really. Let's just pop it there for now. Uh, so, right, so that's that's the station connected to the town properly, and now we just need to borrow some land back from these landowners here. Extend this through and round and out of town. Just for now. <laughs> Gonna leave it like that as long as stations can be used. That's a project for later, so. Also, this line I noticed is still called Thornby, which is incorrect, but 
after the town renaming, but it now goes to Stanhope. So we have our Thornby Thunderer, keeping that name, Legacy. Well, nearly three quarters full. It's doing fine for now, probably replace that at some point soon. But the next job is to then link a settle to Stanhope. Configure the line to unload. Unload fuel at Stanhope. Load fuel load fuel at settle. Rename the line. Settle stand hope. Oil line. Not pipeline, but rail line. And now we need a train for that line. Let's go to our depot. Hornby train depot. Yay. New vehicle. Right. I want an electric one. And I want something that's not too expensive. New Haven. Hmm. Some pretty expensive ones here. What's that? 11. Oh, good old BR one. 16. Higher running costs. Let's go for this one. Let's pop it in a... Let's match the colour of the fuel, which is orange. Yeah, let's have one of them. Now we need some cargo tanks. Oh, we got a big... Oh, oh not orange. That looks ghastly. Right. Capacity 20, 18. Faster loading speed. Let's see these ones. A few of these, as long as some's going through. Keep it a four for now. We need to give it a name. We need a new name before we leave the depot. What will we call this train? Um, it's a new, new train, new Stanhope, a new Stanhope. A new Stanhope. Built to warm up Stanhope. Feed its burning desire for fuel. How's the train look? The grand unveiling. Oh, I like the I like the headlight. Cyclops. Hmm. That's quite pretty looking with the uh, mottled midnight blue on the tank cars and the orange of the train. Loco. Not the train. Train's the whole thing. Oh, who's in the station? Have you got wood? Have you got wood has half wood. How long is that set to wait there for? Probably too long. No matter. Sort it out later, maybe, if we want. Right, let's that. Let's let a new Stanhope figure out its route and what it's carrying, and we'll come back to it in a minute. That is for later, so we'll leave that like that now. What was next? We're still trying to get goods boxes to our Peninsula, Setile, Stanhope wants boxes, Hornby wants boxes, Tip End Box Factory is where the boxes are made, out of, you know, L-beams and Lego, it would seem. Closest place that we can get Lego from is across the river from Tip End at Heidfeld Composites. They need refined oil refined oil comes from the refinery up the river and I'm guessing seeing as we've got boats and seeing as there's already a harbour here we use boats 
rather than messing around with trains at the moment. And then that's also a nice, easy, quick trip back to the box factory across the river. So, so let's do this. We need two cargo harbors, one either side of the river here. Let's just make sure the, ha the town of Heidfeld isn't watching as we do this. Intruding on their land. Pop that down there, which I'm sure is in distance. Oh no, that's right. I hadn't got it selected. Yes, that's fine. Although now the road looks a bit a bit odd. Let's downgrade the road. That still reaches good. Right. One on the other side. Now we don't we don't want to connect it over here because then traffic will have to fight through the town to get out of tip end so we want some sort of link road and this one's gonna have to be a faster one because this will be our freight route and it will be trucks so let's bring it through here Tip end link road, ring road. Make it a bit bumpy. So yeah, we we can sort of have it on the edge of town at least. Then we want we need a truck station for it. And seeing as initially, actually if we put it out to the side and switch the platforms to the other side, we can put that there like that, maybe. Let's plop down the harbour first. Let's bring it as high in as we can. I'm sure it would have told me if it was outside of navigatable waters. At least I hope it would have. Bang. Perfect. Freight depot. Connected to Tip End Central. No. Harbour. Harbour. Tip End Harbour. Oh right, that's why that got called that. No, this port is... That's what that is. Heidfeld Composite Shipping Yard. So, what's next? We want to kind of... get everything linked up so stuff just works when we press go. We need a delivery route there which is uh, tip end composites delivery that'll do in a lovely shade of lilac we then need oh we're going to need two ships here aren't we yep because we're going to need one that can transport the oil to the factory and then probably a different kind of ship to transport the Lego back across the line composites, plastics, whatever I'm calling them so from there to there and the back again and then another one from there to there and back again Zip and river hopper that was easy this one I don't know, oh, DW, no it's me trying to move up and right but in a text box and that doesn't work I don't know what that's, that lake is called. It hasn't got a name yet. Lake Heidfeld. Route. Route. Lake Heidfeld Shipping Route. Okay. Actually, 
let's actually set them up. Riverside port. Load refined oil. Unload it at the other end. And then go back. Empty. Oh well. And then the tip end river hopper. Unload at that end. Load it all at that end. Back and forth across there. That should work. Right. A couple of boats. Boats, ships, cargo. We need an oily one. Of course, we've got only. Hmm. This needs a large boat dock. We're we going to slap that out to the side. Would that work? Let's hope so. Right. Now that port's got a large enough dock to accept a bigger boat. So these are large ones, aren't they? Large, yes. How big do we want to go? Ooh, the Merlin. <laughs> Pointy. That, that could carry our plastics. But we need something... for the oil first. Smaller but quicker. Right, we'll have one viola. And then we need something to carry the plastic, so yeah, let's just buy a Merlin. And for the sake of thinking of a name, let's call that one Merlin. And call that one Viola. Why not? Easy peasy. So, Merlin, we want you on the Tip and River Hopper, Viola. We want you on the Lake Heitfeld shipping route. Unable to find path. No path for the big ships. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So, Merlin is a big boat. And that is going down there fine, so the quibble must be up here. Whack a massive cargo port out into the into the river. <laughs> you can basically build a bridge across, couldn't you, with ports, port parts. Viola. Are you gonna be less stroppy now? No path for big ships. Ah. Okay, that'll be it set the line up before that was there so it's still pointing to the little one now it's going to the big one let's just set that up again load refined oil unload refined oil okay we ready to go now Viola are we going to cooperate? yes Out it comes and off it goes. In, out of its sort of half dry, half wet dock. Just as well I call it Viola because it's got Viola written on the side, unless that changes. Boat. No, it doesn't. That sick drift. Okay. Last piece of the puzzle. Last piece of the puzzle. Let's join that up and pop down a road depot. Put it over here by the harbour, in the industrial corner, seems a suitable place to put it. 
That is a road depot, isn't it? Not a tram depot. Yep, good. Now we need to put some trucks on this line. Cargo. Something that can carry plastics, which is just going to be any box truck. Just go with a rather raggedy looking 40 ton top all in truck and let's get two of them to start with. No, maybe three. On to the tip end composites delivery line. There we go. Okay. I guess now we wait. Do I speed it up? Do I not? Who knows? No, let's not speed it up yet. Because we got a couple of chair trains to check on. How's our old friend Coppolo that doing? Got nothing on but returning to the port to pick up more. Where has a new Stanhope got to? There's a new Stanhope. Nought of 18, that suggests to me that because it was always by default set up straight to crude oil, it suggests that it delivered 18 nuggets of fuel. So let's check. Click on Stanhope. Eight. I mean, close enough. At least 18. Or up to 18. Good. So a new Stanhope is doing what it's supposed to do. And our ships are heading down across Lake Heidfeld. They're going to take a while to get through and do that, so I'll let them do their thing. Oh, that's what else. Riverside. Now, because we're using their oil refinery to refine our oil, they'd like something in return. So I figured we'd set them up a little bus route just so they can get around town. We can't really we can't really service them with anything yet. We have access to no bricks and food is still quite a way off yet. So I reckon if we put if we pop a nice little loop little loop round. So if we put down maybe Put down four stations, maybe, with a stop on each side. One there, one there, one up sort of here somewhere. There and there, and one up in this industrial corner, maybe up there. And then, just so it's all nice and simple for them, we will connect this road up. So the bus can get through from there to there. Two new lines. A clockwise one. And an anti-clockwise one. Wonderful. Missed it out. No. So that's annoying. I don't want them to go that way and turn around. Maybe High Street needs to be two. Yeah, that's more like it. Main Road needs to be two. Yeah, that's right. So we need to do the same here. High Street needs to be one for that one so it goes around and Main Road needs to be platform one, so there we go. Going around, they don't go down any roads unnecessarily. The teal one is anti-clockwise. Riverside Town bus anti-clockwise. The purple one is Riverside Town 
town. Bus. Clockwise. Whack down a road depot. Pop it up in the industrial bit. Don't want to demolish any trees, really. Oh, there's the houses there. Let's plop it down there. What do we want? Six buses, three in each direction initially, or four in each direction, so there's one at each stop. Although I'm sure they'll just bunch up with each other, like they always do. Let's get three for now. And let's let's use that Volvo that we got so excited about a few episodes ago. I'll name him up real quick, just for my own benefit. And Lakeside CW Bus 3. Done. So let's grab those first three, put them on the ACW line. Take those three, put them on the CW line. And let's watch them go. And I guess they will bunch up if I release them all at the same time. But hopefully they'll slowly spread out. Are they coloured for the lines they're on, or are they just all blue? Didn't really see any option to change the colour of them, I guess they're all blue. What did Riverside want to call those stops as well? High Street, South Street, Green Lane, and Main Road. Okay. Because I reckon this one should probably be Main Road. Let's just name it Rain Main Road 2 for now so the game doesn't get confused. This can be Green Lane, because it's in the industrial corner, so that makes sense. Main Road. And then we've got High Street. Got High Street and Main Road, two parallel, equally main roads. Right, we've got a little little people icon showing us that some human freight is waiting at the bus stop and here comes a bus and there's some human freight one nugget of human freight Jasmine Moore on the bus followed by Jake Davis in his little old Civic nearly running over Evie Robinson in the process so there you go, Lakeside. There you have a little bus route for you. A slip and slide, still doing their thing. Always handy that if you can use a ship in both directions. Now. Viola. That's probably only just got to the port for the first time. Who knows, but... So none of this is working yet. Because nothing is reaching this far down. Which means we're losing a bit of money, but it's not really a thing at the moment. We do have some ready... Good, so it's been... Yeah, it's been put on the... It's been put on the big port. So that will happen. But I think we'll have to wait till next time to look at that. We've been playing now for, what's that, a couple of years? It was November 2001 when we started, so I think that's a good place to leave it. Stanhope has its fuel and a redeveloped station with 43 people waiting at it, which is more than the capacity of that train. So we'll look at that next time around as well. But until then, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and... Have fun.